It's your boy, Young Kiyoma, aka the Mecha Chamber, aka I don't go by any other aliases, aka Nick. And who are y'all? Yo, bro, it's your boy PJ, aka Fable, aka the Lowborn Prince. What's going on? And it is your third host, Josh, aka JC, and welcome back to Tower Talk, episode 47. Yes, sir. We're getting real close to that 50. Yes, sir, bruh. Oh my god. You know what I just realized, bruh? What? Hmm. Don't hit me 50, with the time shit. 50 episodes. Oh, god. Uh-huh. <laughs> Within, well, no, we just had our, never mind. Because I thought it was going to be like a year anniversary, but then I forgot 39 was the anniversary. Yeah. That would be kind of like sick if we did 50 episodes in one year. Like, That'd be cool. Yeah. Oh, snap. We hidden them joints. Oh, snap. I mean, it probably would have been 50 episodes in one year if we just started the podcast at the beginning of the year, but we originally started it in December. Facts. So. Not, I think it was December, yeah? Started November. November. That's what it was. Was it? I believe 20, November. 2021. So, okay. That makes yeah, sense. it was pandemic year. Wait, no, no, no. No, our anniversary was 2020. Yeah, I was about to say. We started the podcast in 2020, yeah, nigga. 2020. That's pandemic here. Yeah. Okay. But how are we doing today? How are we doing? Oh, well, uh, got my ass beat on King of Fighters. Mm-hmm. Uh, that sucked. <laughs> Every day. Damn, nigga. I wasn't going to do it like that. Hey, bro. You, <laughs> for the podcast, you were just like, <laughs> you out mentally, so... I was zoning the fuck out. That's it. I was just zoned out. I wasn't like tripping or nothing. I was just sitting here like I was just fucking like staring at the screen. I was I was gone. I was out. Um, nah, man. I, I I'm doing pretty good. Uh, I got a lot of shit to do recently. I got like the past week has been me doing just a bunch of shit. And I'm gonna be honest. Aside from streaming, I probably ain't gonna be doing shit starting like sunday for just a little bit because i i've been doing too damn much mm-hmm. but i mean i'm chilling i'm doing good okay. how about you josh um grinding um uh, continuing okay. that as usual um of course still doing the job search i think i found one that might actually work out it's like a you know uh off-brand grocery mart nearby so i'm gonna try to see what i can do with that if i can at least get that um because i i'm not gonna lie i gotta start saving up i have not been doing that just oh money's gosh. been an issue yeah that shit is just whack and yeah it, it's been annoying but yeah i'm trying to do that um yeah, other than that, I've been working on an well, I'm trying to figure out a way to replace what I'm gonna do on Sundays. So I'm thinking like Sundays will be just until before, you know, like I move and actually go out to my own apartment and start, you know, doing content by myself and all that shit. Cause it's like at this point, I can't do shit that's not gaming by myself in this house because Either it's a food related video and niggas in the kitchen or, you know, whatever this, you know, I have to like record at certain times now. Um, and it kind of messed up my schedule. And I've also noticed like, I really don't like it when like, I know a nigga's in the background making noise and I have to record a video. I don't know. I just, I can't get off that feeling. <laughs> That's me every time we record the fucking podcast. Yeah. I mean, I understand. Yeah, like you can't. I mean, it. It you gotta do what you gotta do. Um, mm-hmm. and at the end of the day, you just power through it. Um, not let it get af- affect you because ten times out of ten, you know, they're not even paying attention. To be honest, like they don't really even. They don't really even care. But it's just that feeling of like knowing. I don't know. Like I have to hold back what I say because other people around me or I'm going to make too much noise or it's just like that is just annoying. So I'm just trying to like figure out another way to do recording. So I found a 
another schedule. Um, so I've been doing that. Um, but going back to like what I was saying about Sundays, I started working on this video called like a, well, it's like a script. I, I, I'm not really like a video essay type nigga, but um, I started working on like a video that I want to do, is, uh, which is about uh, why I love indie games. And just go in a little bit in depth detail for some people that see me just play indie games all the time. Um, so I started doing that. I started working on a collab video that me and Nick did a while ago. Um, <laughs> that should be out. I won't say this Sunday, but maybe next next Sunday. Good lord, have fun with that one, G. Bro, <laughs> well, dang. Um, it's not gonna be long. I don't want to make it too long, of course. so I'm probably going to like try to get a majority of the content and like chop it up, but I definitely want to make it where it's like not like at least under 20 minutes so people can, you know, we don't lose retention there, uh, but just something different. I think that's the type of content I'm going to start doing on uh, Sundays, but yeah, other than that, just been doing new uh, things like beat a month. Um, just trying to continue my skill at producing. I don't think I'm confident enough to make a beat and then be like, all right, I can send this to some artists because I don't know. I feel like I can, I, I, I will call myself a beat maker, but I'm not like a professional producer. Like I can just make anything. Like I definitely, I want to be more comfortable in that. So I just been trying to do at least a beat a month until I can start squeezing in more. But yeah, that's pretty much what's been going on with my life. How about you, PJ? Uh, <clears throat> I don't know where I left off at last last time. Um, did I tell you about my car? You told me about I it. I told you about it. Josh, did I tell you about my car? No. Okay, well, so not too long ago, um, my car freaking, so it's kind of like, it's called the U-joint. Long story short, it's the axle that connects the, it's like the piece that connects the wheels to the axle mm -hmm. on my driver's side, the front driver's side snapped in half. <laughs> While I was uh, driving over the train tracks. So. Uh, that costed like. 1400 I think. Yeah like 1400 Jesus fuck. <laughs> and with all Damn. my money. I still couldn't afford it. So no thank god. Yeah, you, my mom helped yeah. me out a little bit. Uh, not even a little bit actually. She paid for the majority of it. Uh, so that happened. Uh, I'm trying to get this morning routine down. Had it solid for like a week. That was the week that, ironically, that was the week that I was not on the podcast. Like that <laughs> week, I got that whole thing down for like five days. But because things shift up, uh, you can't really, like a routine is kind of hard for me to maintain because things change all the time. Plus it's like... um like weekends like my routine consisted of me waking up at 4 a.m for five days it was easier because i had work at 5 30 so 4 a.m i had to be up anyway but whenever i have work at seven it's harder to get up at four when you have extra sleep i guess like extra time to be sleeping yeah um and you can't really maintain a routine unless it's like the same time i feel like but you know, maybe, maybe not. We'll see. So, changing the routines kind of thing. Um, haven't really been making beats like that. Mm -hmm. uh, or working on the tape, like, at all. And it's not because it's like, I don't want to, but there are things that are coming up that are making it not so easy to work on what I want to work on. Um, but 
you know, as you can see today and yesterday, I was able to work on a beat. Uh, I think Thursday I was able to work on one. Thursday, did I talk to you Thursday, Nick? You. Or was that Wednesday? I think it was Thursday. I think it was Thursday. Uh, but anyway, so Thursday I talked to Nick, and I started making a beat. Nick, the beat that I showed you, that was the beat that I started working on. Okay. Um. So like once a week, I probably have time. Um, but if I can get these other plans down, that should increase productivity uh, by a while. Because sometimes I'll just come home and go to sleep, and I hate that. I'm sorry. I don't know about you guys, but like I'm not a nap kind of person. I can't stand taking a nap. So uh, that. So like falling asleep literally pisses me off. Sleep's my mortal enemy, so. Well, yeah, well, you can't get to sleep. Also, have you thought about, uh, tea? Uh, I have. But, I mean, we... Only tea anybody in this house likes is sweet tea, so. I'll just have them get you some lavender it. and chamomile tea. It literally puts you, like, out. <laughs> they ain't gonna give me shit. <laughs> I have some. I can literally drive it over and drop it off. Say less. At some point, yeah, we'll see, we'll see. something. I don't know. I with well, me, it's like tea is hit or miss. Tea is hit or miss, like but see. it's like, you know, put some sugar in it, you do whatever. Yeah. But like, apparently, I mean, it'll have you like out. Sleep, sleep, and I got beef. Like insomniac, narcoleptic. I get sleep paralysis regularly. I can't wait. We'll see. We're ch we're checking all cylinders here, man. We're we're trying everything at this point. Uh, it's is fucking. I got beef with that nigga. I'm gonna put him to sleep. That's what I'm gonna do. Put sleep to sleep. I'm gonna put sleep to sleep, and then what he gonna do? Isn't that just dead? You spit. <laughs> just wondering, like. That's if double you put sleep. sleep to sleep, I feel like that's just you're out, like <laughs> permanent, like right? JoJo there. stand. Putting sleep to that sleep. That sounds like a JoJo what, uh... stand, yeah. Like he puts sleep to sleep, like. Or like that's, his ability what, is just sleep to sleep. Yeah. That's what niggas did when they took away the uh the moons and other schools. Bruh. Nah, they was to putting sleep. niggas to sleep, I'll tell you that. They took out the moon and then they was like, oh okay. So you want a war. Alright, bro. Okay, keep keep playing. Keep playing. But yeah, continue. But trying to get this freaking routine fixed. And by fixed, more like set up, I'd say. Um, it's not hard. It just requires some discipline. A certain level of discipline. Um, so because of my car acting a case sometimes, I don't want to risk it. Uh, I can't get on the inter interstate with it. Like, it just doesn't work like that. And I don't want to because I don't know the limits of my car. So I don't want to get on the interstate and then have it mess up. You know what I mean? Mm. Uh, so I'm thinking about just getting a new car. Not a brand new car because it's broke nigga season. Uh, yep. but, a, but a used car. Just a car that's decent enough that I can actually work on too because I like cars, but I don't know about cars. Um, but I'm also not like... And I was telling Nick about this the other day. Like, I'm not super like, bro, do you not see like, this is a turbocharged AE86 with goes down a long list of parts. And like, bro, I just want to know how to fix it, maintain it. And if I would like to make it look cooler, yeah, but I don't want to make like, I'm not going to make that thing. My God, like, I'm not going to be like, this car is everything to me. Like, nah. I, ain't trying to, I just need a freaking car that can go on the interstate because um, like I went to Florida, right? <clears throat> to go and uh, visit Trevor. And uh, that was fun. That was a fun freaking time. Uh, smoked a cigar. Except now I don't know what it is, but freaking I'm, I'm just like, nah, I need to cut back on smoking a cigar because that's it's one I hate tobacco. It's 
it just ew, it's just not it, Chief. Like, no. Yeah. But you know, it was fun once in a lifetime or you know, not once in a lifetime, but like special occasion type of thing. Uh yeah. I saw the I feel like a mob boss for us all like you know Oh yeah, because we went down there for the Super Bowl and uh oh, Joe yeah. Burrow, who's the quarterback of the Cincinnati Bengals. Whenever he mm. wins, he be like smoking a cigar. And so I was like, they call him Joe Shiesty. And yeah. I was like, bruh, we gonna be down there, shiesty it up, bro. Like, we're gonna be sitting there like Joe, bro. <laughs> and then they got lost, and everyone's like, Man, now we gotta smoke one for this man. Like, dang. Smoke <laughs> one one. Just one. Smoke. He actually didn't get smoked. The game was pretty close, but it was like he still didn't win. I was I was like, bro, I just need LA to not get a Super Bowl. I don't care about LA. Like, I don't want LA to win. And lo and behold, LA got that bit. I was like, bro. They was ahead at one point, but then you know how it is. Those are two two like pretty good teams. So I was like, whoever takes it, takes it. I just don't want LA to be the one who does it. But I mean, it wasn't, you know, the worst. Um but hung out with him and his friend. I saw a fight. The Israel Adesanya versus um Whitaker. Robert Whitaker. And that one was pretty okay. Uh nobody got knocked out. Mm. Uh but Israel kept the belt. And yeah, just kind of trying to figure out this routine, establish one that's solid enough to where it's flexible, but it's also like, I don't know, when making a routine, it's kind of like your plans don't really matter. And it's hard to explain other than like, when you think of plans, right? Like the word plan, mm -hmm. it's kind of like, this is a ideal position, right? For example, uh, like recording the podcast, how we're recording it early because Nick had plans, right? Mm. Our original plans were to record later. But because something came up for Nick, we recorded earlier. It's like plans pretty much just have like, this is what I intend to do. But if I don't get to that shit. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So just kind of trying to learn or like roll with that in mind. Like plans are not law. Like they're not ingrained in stone. It's just kind of like you really have to gun for that shit to be like solid. Like, for example, Josh uh, getting to like a million, right? He plans to get to a million. So he's going to every chance he gets gun for that shit. He's going to make videos. He's going to do this. He's going to do marketing. He's gunning for it. But it's like when shit comes in the way, sometimes maybe he can't make a video or he can't meet his own video deadline. He's still gunning for it, but he just couldn't make that one. So you kind of have to like roll with the fucking punches the whole time. True. But yeah, I'd say that's pretty much me. I don't think anything else has happened. Oh, and uh, God has been giving me mental, like, for lack of a better term, ass whoopings all week. Oh, really? Oh, all week. Damn, bro. Yeah. I don't think it's going to stop either. I'm pretty sure it's an everyday thing. It'd be like that. It's not terrible because I know I need it. Uh, <clears throat> but that's another conversation entirely. Okay. All right, Josh. Yes, sir. Go ahead and take the floor. All right, uh, tech for this week, um, not much, but, um, first off the list, I do have something that's more for content creators or anyone who's in that stuff, um, 
we have the schedule posts. So pretty much majority of every social media site has a feature where you could schedule your posts, um, especially on YouTube. I've been doing that a lot um, with videos, promo clips, tweets, you name it. Um, the only scheduled thing, well, schedule posts uh, or the only social media platform that doesn't have it is um, Instagram, which, you know, it is what it is. But as soon as they get that going, uh, I'm going to be on it. But yeah, I highly recommend it if you are trying to do this for real, for real. And you don't have time to post like as soon as the video comes out or whatever you're doing comes out or something like or maybe you have a scheduled stream and so you have to get that going so i highly recommend that for um just in general for content creation um it helps out a lot and speeds up your uh workflow um but yeah that's uh that we have next is uh i'm pretty sure either me or pj brought this up but fuck it we just gonna re we want to bring it back up again but yeah, blue light glasses. Uh, I've recently been, well, I mean, I've been always using them, but for whatever reason, like these blue light glasses have been working, working for me because my eyes are just beginning like, because I don't know if I told y'all, but I'm like a chronic migraine user. So I get migraines easily off of just the sensitivity of light. So with that being said, I need glasses. I need them blue lights and they help out a lot. So definitely recommend it um i don't know a legitimate brand that i can definitely like you know link y'all unfortunately i just found one off of amazon and it works for me um uh i probably have to find it if y'all are let me you know hit us up in the comment section if you're really interested but yeah just get a blue light glass glasses bro like just get them well, what'd you say? I said blue light is like like blue light glasses are the truth. Like, yeah, like everything's online now, and you nigga, you be on the computer more because of this, and it's like you're just staring at the because uh, even just not just the screen when you're going out, you know, like the blue light, the one that I got, it gives you like a little light thing where you could detect. Uh, like actual blue light being shaped off from the glasses so like when you look through you'll be able to see like oh snap it's actually taking out the blue the Some harshness that purple of the tint blue. thing yeah that little light yeah, thing. yeah where it seems like it's a little bit purple mm -hmm. yeah um and it's it's crazy how they uh did it uh, you know showed how much harshness they're taking from the blue so yeah it definitely helps out for me um but yeah, other than that, do y'all have any tech for the week? Um, probably just something that I can say that I've been practicing. Mm -hmm. Um, and it's it's hard to put into words, but it's like mm. try not to worry about the end result of anything. Mm -hmm. like just worry about what it takes to get there but don't worry about the end result so like for example when I make like beats now this Nick this is the new approach I was talking about mm -hmm. um, when I make a beat I kind of take it like away from me like I don't and sometimes it works and sometimes it's like I struggle with it like yesterday I was struggling with that beat that I was show that I showed y'all earlier, mm -hmm. but it's because I tried to make it into something instead of just make it. Um, and what I mean by that is like one comparison is like number one thing for me that will just be like, you want to kill your creativity real freaking quick, bro? Like compare that shit to something else. If it's a drawing. Compare it to your favorite artist. You will kill your creativity like a nuke. Like mm. nothing will get past. It will die. But if you don't want to kill your creativity, if you want it to flow easier, just worry about like 
think about it kind of like a puzzle right Mm -hmm. um except the puzzle you have like let's say you get like a box of pieces for a puzzle but you don't get the picture on the outside you have the pieces and there's pictures on the pieces but you don't know what it is you're building right Mm. you can't just throw random pieces together because it's a puzzle obviously so you would just have you would just focus on what pieces go together that's it you wouldn't focus on the main picture because you have no fucking clue you would only focus on the pieces fitting in Mm -hmm. i don't know if that analogy makes sense but that's what i'm saying so like for example when i make a beat right Mm -hmm. if it does not 100 percent positively need to be there it's not gonna stay Mm. like i only want it to be in the beat if it makes the beat better that's it if it's something that's like it's kind of nice but uh uh-uh it ain't staying if it's something that's like, it was a good idea at the time, but now, uh uh-uh, it ain't staying. Only things that are going to work are staying. And when you're focused on finding what works for this one specific beat or this one, like in Josh's case, right? Like a video that you would edit. Mm -hmm. Let's say that you're like, man, like, I feel like something should go right here. Like in this span of time, there should be something right here that segues into it. But I don't know what. And so you're like, uh, well, you know, I know this YouTuber that I like, he puts like memes here. So then mm-hmm. you're looking for memes that would fit. Right. But if you do that, like, just be careful not to be like, ah, but it's not doing it how it is in their videos. If you ever get to the point where it's like, it's not doing it like blank, back the fuck up. Mm-hmm. Like, that's what, comp- it's very subtle. But like, comparison sneaks in like that. If it gets to the point where you're like, but this isn't being like blank, back up. Like, hands off, take a step back, take a break, whatever. I don't know. But if it gets like that, you're in the danger zone. So just back up before you do something else. Take a break, come back. But like comparison is just not fucking it, bro. That's facts, man. Real talk. I don't really know if that can be, you know, classified as tech or news, but like that's pretty much all I got, bro. <laughs> nice. Put y'all on game real quick. All right. Any other tech? Uh, Nah, I think that's really it for me. Nah. Nope. All right. All right. We're going to get into the news then. Get into the news. Nah, it's fine. He said news. No way. Oh, I'm taking a sip of my drink. <laughs> <laughs> the way Nick said in GTA. The way that Nick said <laughs> when he was drinking. <laughs> like, what's that? What's that one dude from Adventure Time? Uh, uh it's in my favorite episode. Is he the the door lord? He don't talk. Uh, he just like stole everybody's uh, stuff and then threw him in that door. I think it was the door lord. Yeah. He had like yeah. keys to a bunch yeah, of doors. Yeah, that's yeah. what you, when he was like, yeah. like that's all I remember. That <laughs> oh, side note before we get into the news, mm. bro. Apparently, niggas don't know about castle crashers. Really, they don't know about the Good OG. Lord. Fuck. It's weird because like people will make noises, right? Like I was at work and this dude, uh, he made the noise that. Like, villagers, right? That's another thing. Like, the villager noise, right? Yeah. That one dude from fucking Cast Crashers uh, with the robot or whatever. He's, like, the industrial castle guy that you gotta, like, use the sandwich to break down the door. Yeah, he's uh, he's outside the door. He goes, he's like, yo, you're not beefy enough? That nigga. Yeah, when he's like, yeah. Hur-hur! Like, folks be making that noise, yeah. and I'm like, oh, Cast Crashers. And they're like, what? I'm like, what do you mean, what? You just made the noise, like, verbatim. Like, you, you did, did that. that. Like, 
And they're like, what is that? I'm like, bro, y'all don't play games for real. Y'all, y'all think you do, but y'all niggas don't play games for real. <laughs> yeah, y'all don't play games for real. <laughs> Can't wait to the new Apex Legends season. Like, oh, yeah. Okay, look, hold it. Apex actually Apex goes kind of hard. Of play, like, some of us play Apex. I never said it was bad. Stop. 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 No, no, I'm not. I'm not. I'm, not. I'm just saying, like, it actually goes kind of hard, but I do understand because, like, bro. just be acting like they're gamers, but it's like, bro, you got to play. Different games than just MMO battle royale shit. Be- these niggas. Oh yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Been these niggas out here playing fucking fucking Warzone, Valorant, and goddamn Lost Ark all day. One dude was like, "Bro, I'm trying." To, he said, "You need to get on Warzone. We need to play Warzone together." And at first, I was like, "Nah, like, <laughs> like no bullshit." Like I was just like, "Nah, like I'm not doing that." Yeah. Like you got yeah, me like I was like, nah, up. you got me fucked up. But I was like, you know what, bro? I'll play Warzone. I said, but you got to play Apex. <laughs> Apex is is actually pretty fun, but it's only fun in arenas. Yeah. I feel like Battle Royale just sucks because it's like, why do I want to play third party the simulator? Uh, like, yeah. if I wanted to get jumped, I'd Battle just go Battle find Battle. some random hood in a city I'm not from. Easy. <laughs> True. No. <laughs> yeah. Like, nah. I'm gonna get on a game and get jumped for free. What? Sure. But let's go segue into this news in GTA. <laughs> what? You said in GTA. I We're said in GTA. I said in GTA. I'm Hi. currently playing GTA. Hi. So you guys don't know. This like this like when y'all was talking about beating kids in GTA. Oh yeah. But it's in <laughs> GTA. It- Exactly. <laughs> Safe city. Okay. Oh God! Oh, in hate- Skyrim, though, <laughs> we'll say that so that people really know, because everybody hates mm. kids in Skyrim. Mm. He said we got the mod. Like, to kill for him. real, in Skyrim, we got the mod to kill him, bro. I have the power. <laughs> for real in Skyrim. Like, because they'd be right. out here like another so wanderer here to lick my father. <laughs> oh, square up, then. What's up? <laughs> What is up? He just throws away the sword. Throws away the sword and put the hands up. up. What's good? I heard you was talking. I'm here to close your mouth with these fists, bro. Let's go. Yeah. All right. Let's go ahead and get to some news. So, last week, Mm. we talked about uh, how Snoop Dogg now owns Death Row Records. Mm -hmm. Okay. This week, we talk about how he managed to fumble the bag. (laughs) <laughs> let's get right into the news all right all right I'm, I'm no gonna the, I'm, i gotta do the new no i gotta do the news that's what you did you said <laughs> this yeah week, no that's right we I'm see how he way. fumbled the bag <laughs> just wait we see how he fumbled the bag snoop dogg says death row will be nft record oh. label i want to be uh, the first no. major in the metaverse no. <laughs> no. Man, you're gonna be retired by the time you get into the fucking metaverse. What you talking about, bro? Bruh, no. Oh my god. Death Row will be an NFT label. Snoop said we will be putting our artists through the metaverse just like we broke the industry when we was the first independent label to be major. I want to be the first major label in the metaverse. Ah, so the scam has eyes. I'm gonna let y'all do with that what you will. <laughs> Which is funny because the uh, it, 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 and it makes sense that it led to this because uh, the f- first release of his album, his newest album, was actually a. Uh, Dropped on the Gala Music Store, which is like a blockchain-based like music thing. Uh, and it cost it. It, it went for five thou. Five thousand for the album. Dollars. Yes. Well, who's not listening to it? Raise your hand. Well, then it, it got released to listen to for free on other platforms. Well, why anyways, it's just NFT 5, bullshit. NFTs, bro. That's just what they do. That's what the they scam. do. Bro. Dude, did y'all hear about like Super Hot Fire putting his 
videos on uh nfts as as nfts yeah because he originally quitted youtube a while yeah. ago and then now he came back doing that and i'm like tell me you got no bitches without telling me you dude got no okay bitches. i have a question and <laughs> i just want to know because i'm just i'm just confused bro like i just don't understand what is the appeal? Like, how do niggas actually make money at all? Like, because everybody thinks they can sell it to another stupid ass nigga that's willing to pay for it, and so it just creates this never ending cycle of niggas that are like, "Oh, the guy that buys it from me will be stupid enough to buy it," and then they sell it, and then that guy's like, "Oh, I I'm gonna sell it for more and sell it to somebody that's stupid enough to buy it," and it just keeps. That's what it is. You're yep. you're joking. Man, niggas you're not cool. joking. Or, uh, bored, bro. I think we, if you can <laughs> see the look on my face, you can face see the look right on now. my face, dog. <laughs> <laughs> Are you serious? That's insane. That's why they go for such insane prizes. But my <laughs> okay, it's a bunch of niggas scamming yeah. themselves. Okay. Yes, okay, that's fine. Yes. Oh, that's straight. <laughs> okay. Oh my god, that is, oh, that's, that's something, that, that is something. Niggas are bored, man. I don't even know if boredom can be blamed for this one, bro. I don't know if that's boredom, that's, man, what are the, what, that why shit is, make NFTs, bro? Bro, okay, you want, you want my theory? Mm. I don't know what happened, okay, but for some mm. reason. This pandemic has done one thing without fail perfectly. I don't know how, but it did it. There's a population of people that do not <laughs> use their brain. I'm not bullshitting. They, I'm not bullshitting. <laughs> there is a population of people that do not use we have been their saying brain. This since, we've been saying this since episode Bruh. one. Some of y'all niggas just never should have nah, came back. Nah, bro. I ain't even talking about that. I'm just saying, like, bro, there's a population. <laughs> Some of y'all niggas that, did not like, deserve to get out that does damn Doesn't use their brain. And I'm like, the pandemic has just shown us, like, that population. Like, how big that population is of niggas that don't use their brain. Yeah. Like, and that's all I can tell. Like, that's all I can antiquate to. Because I'm like, bro, there's no way that any of this that doesn't make sense, you niggas are on board with. <laughs> There's no way. I just uh, you can't be that. I got no you cannot. words. The Minecraft map, nigga. No words, bro. The, the Minecraft, Minecraft map. map. The Minecraft map. But let me let's let him finish the news. They, they finna start selling Minecraft maps as NFTs. I swear. Don't bro. give him an idea, bro. Don't do that. They already sell them for money on Bedrock Edition. Oh well, I mean that's why I don't have it. <laughs> Shit's massive, Al. Go ahead and continue. You got you got some news. Got some news here, buddy. Um, let's just get the uh, monkey out of the room first. All righty. The huh? All right, let's go. I said, let's it. go. So I'm, I'm ready. Kanye wants us to buy his stem player for two hundred dollars if what? we want to listen. His stem player, which is like his like a Yeezy USB speakers. Wait, what? Yeah, like his Bluetooth speakers or whatever. We want to listen to Donda too. Yeah, fucking hilarious. <laughs> I wonder. I wonder how many people are actually gonna do it because Donda is supposed what to. What the fuck they did to Kanye and Snoop? No, 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 no. Let, what let they do? <laughs> Bro, because Donda Two is coming out um next week yeah. Yeah. Second. Yep. next week yeah so two, two, how two, many two, two. people are going to buy this that population that doesn't use their brain i can almost tell you that for sure right now honestly I've, i already see people leaking it and putting it on like youtube somewhere oh yeah okay for when, sure when don't when don't kanye get leaked so that yeah that's what i'm saying so it's like <laughs> yeah. he's thinking this is like because what he said in the uh Cause he's just been randomly like posting on his Instagram to like voices, opinions, and thoughts. And when he said that, he was like, "You know, this is the f I'm gonna be the first to change tech and how we do music. Just wait and see." 
or something like that. Remember when he said, and then and that's hilarious coming from the guy that was just talking about some. Don't fucking tell me to do no damn NFTs. Yeah, like. <laughs> <sighs> so this nigga want me to buy his T-shirt to get the album, basically. <laughs> Look at the t-shirt. This nigga said I get one in every box of Cheerios. <laughs> Look at the cutout coupon. Dude, okay. <laughs> Not trying to be that guy, but did y'all hear about the other Kanye-related news? Oh, God. The, the, <laughs> the Coach Ella stuff? Go for it. Oh, yeah. And yeah. the, and the, and the Kid yeah. Cudi stuff? Yeah. We talked about that last time. Did? Don't even worry. Don't even worry. We talked yeah. about it. Oh, Bro, where they were like oh, yeah. the paparazzi like went after Cuddy. There was acting like some damn And kids. they were like, yeah. whenever he tried to put they put some hands on him, they were like, oh my god. I'm like, bruh. I'm surprised this is still legal to that this entire, day. Like everything, everything of, of that situation involving both of them and all parties involved is so I don't childish. feel like Cuddy's was that bad. I mean, Cuddy's wasn't that bad. Oh, wait, what happened like, with him? I thought it was he, just like they were like, yo, what about Kanye? Da, 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 and you try to fight him. No, the the situation that led to that. Oh, what happened? Uh, So, well, we talked about this for a long time last week, but I'll try to simplify yeah. it, right? Essentially, Kanye... Let's say Kanye is friends with a lot of, like, big names in the music industry that have hoed friends of his, right? But... They're pretty fine with it, because that's their nigga, right? But then when Kid Cudi's hanging out once with Pete Davidson... Oh, yeah, right? you tell me whenever Kanye was like, he's not on Donda too. Yeah, Kanye's yeah, yeah. like, we, we don't fuck with that nigga no it's more. Yeah. freaking funny. Uh, and honestly, Cudi just should have never responded to that. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all may... Uh, Kid sees ghosts. Because this nigga's... Yeah, it's like he's friends with... He's friends with Pete Davidson and Billie Eilish. Boo fucking who, you got beef with both of them. That nigga, that's not his beef. Why does he care? He's a grown man. Okay. <laughs> so he responded and then... He's a grown ass man. Okay. So he responded and then that led down a chain of events that led hmm. to... Yeah. I mean... Why he was throwing hands at niggas. I can probably agree with that he shouldn't have responded to him, but at the same time, it's like... I don't know. That whole Billy Eilish shit was kind of just like, bro, huh? That shit's cringe. The whole, oh, you're hanging out with the nigga that my ex is fucking. It's like, why are you so worried about what they're doing, bro? That's that their nigga. You aren't with her anymore. Well, Calm it's, down. you know, easier said than done in some circumstances. But I do see what you're talking about. This nigga Kanye, damn. He, he doing too damn much. A lot of niggas are doing too damn much. But I'll tell you right now. Uh... <clears throat> I will not be listening to Don the Two. <laughs> yep. I'm not I buying, buying this box of right now. Nah. I'm not buying the box of Kanye cereal to listen to the album that comes with it, bro. I'm really? sorry. Like, nah, gee. Yeah. Nah. I'm not. Look, I, okay, I'll no. say this, bro. As soon as they were like, "Bro, did you hear he's releasing Don the Two? I was like, "The fact that he's had that he's gonna have a sequel to this thing already," I was like, "I'm, like, I'm, I'm turned off. I'm turned like, off already, G." Cam Cam sent me a website a while back that's just unreleased leaks upon leaks of artists stuff that hasn't been released. I'ma listen to Donda too. <laughs> I just <laughs> no, he said it. I'ma he listen to said, I'ma listen to Donda too. You know, I I'm just cute, I just ain't gonna listen to it the way you want me to listen to. <laughs> oh, I'ma listen. I he said I'ma I listen. Got all right. Respect for Kanye right now to do that, bro. Respect. I, bro, he, look, bro. look. Yeah, nah, go ahead and then just, you know. He compares I'm gonna listen it to, to it. Jay-Z. Like, you know how Jay-Z made t- title and now, and you know, he was saying like how fake media attacked him and stuff. He's pretty much saying like, you know. Title is a service. Ugh. <sighs> Title's also the only service that does like well, not the only, but it's the only like well known service that does good like good things for artists. Yeah. And actually pays them a decent amount for being on their platform. Not saying it's a you know, good alternative to Spotify, considering all the bullshit with them <clears> recently, <throat> but you know. Imagine getting the stim player in that bit though. <laughs> 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 Dog, do you know how heated you be, bro? 
<laughs> or it's just down to one or something like nah bro <laughs> it, it'll be like it'll be uh it'll be like 13 hours of wash us in the blood <laughs> on nah, repeat, it'll be bro. it'll be It'll be the entirety of Donda One's runtime, but it's just off the grid. Oh no! <laughs> no but only no, play only... Cardi's part. Oh Jesus! Oh man, <laughs> that is tough. Nah, it's not even a Kanye like single. It's just that one. It's that baseline from Magnolia over and over again. It's just. <laughs> 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 For thirteen hours, <laughs> you just get you get you get the sim player. It's just life of Pierre Five. Life of Pierre. <laughs> oh, that's funny. No, like, but nah, like, I, I I'm not a. As soon as they were like, yeah, he's he's making a second one. I was like, okay, so you named it after your mother out of reverence. You make it uh as a work of art, and then you try to replicate that work of art for a cash grab. So. I guess forget yeah. ref like reverence for your mother. Like, all right then. Like, okay, yep. sure. Yeah. So as soon as it was like he's making Donna two, I was like, all right, well, I'm kind of checked out. And niggas wonder why I'm using old drums because y'all niggas have lost it. <laughs> Bruh, yeah. Yeah, niggas have lost it. What are they doing, man? I'm out here trying to get a second graduation. These niggas out here trying to fucking. Trying to make I love it part thirteen. <laughs> I forgot that song exists. Everybody did. <laughs> you know, Lil Pump dropped an album last year. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I get this exact bit in forty five. <laughs> I go, I go, Black Boy JB. He goes, who? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I have no disrespect, like, I don't mean that disrespectfully to these dudes. It's just like, look, bro, I'm gonna be G real with you, bro. I don't listen to you. Y'all know you okay, fell that's off. all I got to say. I don't even, look. <laughs> Y'all know. Y'all know. <laughs> that was, that was a disrespect. No, that's just the <laughs> that truth. said, Y'all know you fell off. Y'all can't be getting mad at nobody. Y'all know y'all fell off. Come on now. That's, that had Draymond Green energy. Bro. Is we done? I know, right? <laughs> That, y'all know y'all <laughs> like y'all know y'all fell off like oh my god <laughs> it's country vs Kaz out here y'all know y'all fell off who else is out here just like low key <laughs> who else has they ass cheese clutch for Kendrick bro <laughs> uh, this nigga ain't never dropping it I don't point. give a shit I'm not finna dude I'm not even finna say pause after that cause I know I'm not nah, gonna fuck he ain't who the gonna... hell no, nah he ain't he ain't dropping, bro. It's, it's I don't shocking. care, but who's bro. who has their butt cheeks clenched for this I man? Like wishing, everyone and their mother is like, bro, please. it is all on you, please, please, Kendrick. Everybody's please. talking about the halftime, bro. I'm like, dude, hey, where the album? <laughs> nigga said halftime, bro. I'm finna put halftime on this motherfucking single. If you are hurry, <laughs> yo ass up. <laughs> Shit, I gotta slow your tracks down just to fucking get the effect nowadays. <laughs> Got me listening to ADHD on replay every day. <laughs> Bro. Oh my god. Dude, I'm telling you, the game off, is bro. like... That shit ain't coming until after Kendrick. I can tell you that for <laughs> real. <laughs> I can tell you that all for real. As soon as that nigga did offseason, everyone was like... That's why I was so mad about that whole Luigi bar junk. Uh, why? And then... Bro, and then the funny part is... How many niggas talked about that verse off of, uh, what was it? Is it like, was it Caddy Peas? Or uh, what was it? I think so. Yeah, John. Uh, yeah, with Benny the yeah. Butcher. That Benny the Butcher. No one talks about the equals MC squared freaking yeah, sure. metaphysics yeah. bar. Or the fact when that nigga said, go talk to the MCs that died, they say he never, I'm like, no one talks about that shit. But he put an M on your head, you Luigi brother yeah. now, nigga. You're just the goat from goats. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, team. This man had half a fucking verse and he, he did bro, way better. He managed to be my favorite part of the song. And it was a Benny the Butcher song. Like, it was, that is an artist that I yeah, like. It was Benny the Butcher's fucking track. Yeah, but. And that freaking whole verse was solid as, like. That is 
a was very like gold, good man. call verse. She was like gold. Probably one of his best, man. Low key. Now I'm out here like, man. Where's Chris Patrick? Bro. Mm -mm. He dropped that single, but I'm going to tell you right now. Nigga, I, that's not enough, You okay? need to drop your album, That's not nigga. enough. Where your tracks at, G? <laughs> Niggas is waiting on Kendrick Hurry like the drop first your classic, and 15 bro. for real, bro. Drop your classic, bro. Like, when he, when he said that, like, niggas is waiting on me, like, the first and 15th, bro, or it was either him or Cole. Either way, niggas is waiting on this man, like, fucking rent. Because, mm. man, I don't know what it is, but I was like, okay, Drake hit me with some bullshit. Kanye hit me with some bullshit. Cole, Cole, you alive, but, nigga, you know what I wanted. Yeah, exactly. And then, like, this nigga Kendrick proceeds to drop no songs, just slight the... bangers. He gives you, like, a taste nah. of a banger, and I'm like, look, you dude. better not give me no damn energy with this, with this album. This dude Kendrick. No offense. This yeah. dude Kendrick had the audacity to get on a song that wasn't his. Go 2021, we ain't taking no prisoners, and then not drop yeah, and anything. not release. How dare you? <laughs> I'm telling you right now, bro. How much you want to bet he's taking half a TDE's roster? Oh yeah, hundred percent. How much you want to bet that nigga's taking Schoolboy and Absol with him? Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Because I'm like, nah, Chief. Nah, we're like we're waiting on this man. Like, bro, literally the game is on your shoulders right now. Yeah. Drake had it. He fumbled the ball. You know. You know. Cole had it and got a pick, but he didn't. Cole gave you the first down. He you just didn't get would a six. Hip hop right now, if not a Kendrick drop, some new we shit. We need Lil Wayne to drop like Carter. Nah, I don't even think a Carter six could fix this. I bro. feel like a Carter six could fix it. I really. Only agree. reason I don't think that is because Wayne has been off one. That is true. Wayne has been a little bit off one. And when you off one, I'm like, nah, bro. You ain't making good music if you off one. You got to be off one. You gotta be off one, and that one cannot be the fucking bean, alright? Like, that's mm. all I'm saying. Everybody's off the bean right now, for no reason. For no reason. I don't know, bro. You know Kendrick's in a different space whenever that nigga said top of the morning for eight bars, and it was the hardest thing we've heard in a while. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> bro. Yeah. We, I'll tell you what needs to happen. Chris Patrick... Time to talk four. That's what needs to yeah. happen. That's that's what really yeah. needs to happen, bro. Trying to save the game, we gotta get some underground niggas in the mainstream, or else it's Tana over. Talk four is a <laughs> first. Uh, that's the first studio release for Benny, isn't it? Is it? I think so. Um. Well, you, are you talking about like under Slim Shady or like a, as part of a label? <clears throat> this is first studio album. Um. The label. All I know is I heard that Conway is going to under Slim Shady, and I think Westside. I don't know about Benny, but you might be correct. I don't. Is Tana the Talk? I don't know if that's. No, it's I think not, Tana it's the not Talk not Three is an album. I don't know the Talk Three. I feel like it is an album, but I'm not sure. Majority of all his stuff is on, it on Spotify. So I think uh, I think Tana Talk uh, Three and is a mixtape. No, Tana Talk Three is an album. Oh, okay. I don't know why I thought it was this first. Oh, wait. Is Burden of Proof a mixtape? Burden of Proof, I believe, might have been an album. I feel like Burden of Proof was an album because he got hit on it. No offense, hits kind of mainstream. Like, you don't just link up with that nigga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Plus, it had a specific sound to it, and I feel like it was a studio. Burden of Proof. Was yeah, it was a, it was an album. It was an album, okay. And then Tana Talk Three was an album. So everything else is uh, everything else was like not studio releases. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, yeah. Where are we at in this? Are, were we on the news still? Yeah. Wow, Josh. whoopsies.
Continue. Yeah, go ahead and continue. My bad. No, you good for it. We talking. Um. So yeah. Um. Next. So recently, I don't know, PJ, if you watched Simon Servita's recent video. I think I don't really watch Simon Servita like that. <laughs> oh, okay, that's fine. Um, his recent video. Usually, you know, when people do sponsors, I try to look out for what they're saying, but at the same time, part of me, majority of sponsors I see. They just be like, they're sell just out energy. The bag. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Like <laughs> it's sell out. <laughs> it kind of is sometimes because it's like, oh, y'all just trying to get the bag. I, right. you know, what I mean, I unless know. I feel like most sponsors, unless it is like, like a specific contribution to the video. Yeah, mm-hmm. you know, then yeah. it's like kind of just like, yeah, you're doing it for the bag. Like, okay, for example, no offense. PS5 sponsorship, right? Mm-hmm. If you did not previously have a PS5 and someone sends you a PS5 and you're like, bro, I'm recording PS5 content, okay, that's not necessarily doing it for the bag. That's doing it because it's like, yo, I have a PS5, I can make PS5 related content. Yeah, exactly. Versus mm-hmm. like low key, like, bro, but did you know about Raid Shadow Legends? Like, it's like, bro, <laughs> uh, it's like, uh, uh, and, and you, realistically, It'd be different if you took, let's try, use them as an example. The only way they are a feasible sponsor is if that is a game that you do content on. Either that or if you are a mobile yeah, game like, content creator. Yeah, like you do gotcha games and shit like that. Yeah, then it's like, all right, we have not seen. Ra- I'm, I'm convinced that more people know about Raid Shadow Legends than the freaking gospel at this point, bro. Bro. If I because I'm like, bro, if I see another. Yeah. <laughs> You're gonna have to just don't sugarcoat it. Just be like, I'm here for the bag, bro. Great <laughs> Shadow Legends, you know. Or give me the prerequisite. Just <clears throat> disclaimer. Yeah. I am doing this for the bag. I'm sorry. <laughs> I repeat. <laughs> just a black screen disclaimer. I'm doing this for the bag. I apologize. Great <laughs> Shadow Legends. It's like, okay, you know what? At least he was honest. Yep. <laughs> At least he was honest. <laughs> These niggas here yeah, trying to sell that shit like they actually play. That's the only problem. They'd be like, Raid has like totally original. Ca-. I'm like, bro, I can tell you right now, I'm not interested in these niggas at all. <laughs> like, yeah. I didn't click on your video to see Raid. I clicked on your video to see a scary video, like, or whatever yeah. it is you're playing. Yeah, what's going on with that? But yeah, um,. With Simon Servita's recent video, um, he actually this I think it seems legit. I only know a few YouTubers that um that do sponsored stuff and it's actually legit. Um so he did a HP Spectra uh sponsor with Intel, which HP Spectra is a laptop. Um it's a newer laptop. You know how you know the M1s just came out recently. Well, they're trying to be more competitive in the laptop space since, you know, Apple's like sitting the bar. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, this Spectra is it's it's, you know, it's a band, you know what I mean? It's seven a thousand seven hundred, you know what I'm saying? But apparently, you know, the whole video, I like how he sequenced this sponsor because he said I was an Intel, but he didn't really get into like what it was about until after the video and he pretty much was doing like a collab with his subscriber uh, and they went to like a random studio where he lives and that whole time he was using the laptop to do production and he kind of pointed out like yeah the whole time we were there eight hours the laptop i didn't have to use the battery it wasn't slow um he was also recording obs while doing production and so and he you know Simon Savita, if you don't, he just crazy with like production. Yeah, so he'd be having insane. like yeah, over 50 mixer tracks, channels and stuff. So it's like he just be going crazy. So knowing those studio sessions that he did, I feel like he ain't capping when he said that the HP Spectra is really uh legit for that type of content creation and Shit, stuff like, like that. that. So Chromebook. bruh. It well, what's the Chromebook? I don't know. It was a Chrome, Chromebook. Was yeah, it was a Chromebook or it was a Mac or something. The one we talked about, like 
a, a oh, while back okay. now. Yeah, yeah. Um, this one, even though again, it's it's still hefty on the money. You still do like monthly payments, and it's at least more significantly more cheaper than the M ones. But I'm not gonna lie, when I get my second job, I might just buy it for like the you know first payment plan. Um, test it out, and then you can actually do a 15 day return. So that would give me enough time to see if this is legit if i should keep going and you know continue with the monthly payments because yeah i'm trying i'm telling you bro my future dream setup i really want a laptop where i just edit uh you know and just do what i do mainly for like editing and stuff cuz i'm not going to lie bro that just sounds so fire where you could just edit anywhere you want you know what i mean and yeah just get that all done with that and I can hook up like, uh, cause I want an LG Curve widescreen monitor. When I uh, in my future setup, I want like a, a editing room, and I'll just have like a a giant LG Curve monitor, um, and I'll just hook that up to my laptop anytime I'm like there. But if I'm like going out, I'll just you know take it the laptop with me. So if this is legit, um, I'm a definitely y'all gonna get a review from me. That's for sure. What I'm is it called? You talking about the, the it's the Spectre? Yeah, the uh, the HP Spectra. Spectra. I think that's how you pronounce it. I'm gonna send it in the uh, Discord, Thank but okay. yeah, it looks legit from what he did in his video, and um, I don't know. Um, I guess we'll have to see, and especially for music production, I don't know. That yeah, might be. Can it. Tell me about it. Yeah, without charging all day, bruh. Shit, my laptop now it needs a charger in order to work. <laughs> so it's like, yeah, mine is all kind of clean. R bruh, I don't know what's up with just these older laptops where the battery is just trash and you use that bit too much. The battery just it says, nah, nigga, I need the power, bro. If that shit need life dead, support. Bro. Yeah, like for real. That shit crazy, but yeah, that was uh, one of the. Let y'all know. I'm definitely going to keep on because I'm waiting for the Ryzen 6000 series. I'm definitely waiting for that. But I'm going to keep y'all up to date with this um, laptop stuff because I'm really trying to find the perfect laptop for my setup and stuff. So, yeah. So, that's that. Uh, next, we got an update on uh, SpaceX uh, Starlink Internet. So, it looks like they're going to be putting it on a hold. Because recently, NASA issued a warning to SpaceX because apparently SpaceX was trying to send out 30,000 uh, satellites in the, uh, around the global. Um, and apparently what happened was there was like a geomagnetic storm, uh, magnetic storm around the, uh, the space uh, between like the normal satellites. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And it just crash like most of their satellites they already sent yeah. out into space and so they basically now, accidentally created an emp because they have too many uh magnets to get next to each other yeah yeah unfortunately and now they want to send out thirty thousand so they can cover the whole world and i'm like bro i don't know and they were pretty much the article we're kind of talking about how if they do this there's going to be future problems with like uh, stuff falling out of the sky, yeah, um, crashing into each other, you know, pretty much like you were saying, that type of shit. So, yeah, I don't know. It just creates a I lot guess. of like minor annoyances that lead into one big problem. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And now they have to really consider if it's like even worth doing this in general. If anything, I don't know if they could. Uh, like if it's a possibility to start off just trying to cover like yeah united states my but my, my thing know. with it is i feel like knowing you have the technology to do it now is good enough because i feel like you knowing how that technology works makes it so that once you can you know make upgrades to hardware in the future you can use that mm -hmm. technology to its fullest extent without needing as much like as much coverage because like um mm. 
let's say a few years down the line um they upgrade satellites or satellite technology and it's like oh yeah instead of 30,000 we need like 3,000 now or something like that you know Mm, yeah that makes sense yeah so uh i might be keeping up to date with that to see if they uh are actually gonna go through it with it but damn bro that's tough yeah um but yeah next we have apparently street fighter 6 is coming out uh i guess capcom confirmed it and my question is, are you it's, guys It's the that? same as Elder Scrolls 6. It's the same as GTA 6. Mm. We know, we been knew it's coming out. I think the, the, the debate I've been seeing online is people want another Marvel vs. Capcom. People want Marvel vs. Capcom how it used to be. Because Infinite done flop. But mm. here's the deal. Marvel's Disney now, baby. <laughs> they don't like their characters getting hurt. In properties that aren't theirs. So. Mm, you probably ain't gonna see shit. Too. Probably. Damn. That, that's a possibility now. Thinking of that. Uh, as much yeah. as I want it. Because Marvel vs. Capcom 3 to this day. Is possibly my favorite fighting game. It's Seriously? crazy bro. Yep. Dang. I didn't know it was that freaking good. MVC 3 is fucking sick. Yeah. So, yeah, that's um, that. Next, uh, I don't know. I'm pr- I'm sure Nick, you probably heard. Did you like not? What? Oh, what happened? Sorry. Wait, can y'all hear that? Hear what? Yeah. <laughs> you did. Oh, you talking about uh your game? No, we didn't hear the game. Nah, freaking dude, just oh, dude, just freaking starts his fucking. V sixteen out freaking side my god dang out. No, we didn't, we didn't hear it. <laughs> it was just, it was That's just like, bro, because it was like I'm chilling, and I thought <clears throat> it was either one of y'all or like something was freaking blowing up or what. I don't know, but it was just. <clears throat> I'm like, dude, nice. You know, that's that's great. Appreciate it. Fucking subwoofers in that bit. Like, <laughs> dang, might as well, bit. But no, nah, my my bad. No, you good. Um. Be like that. Uh, but yeah, um, Twitch is up. I guess updating their Twitch name policy. Apparently, they're taking out anything that has to do with you know obscenities, yep. uh, sex stuff like yep. that. Wait, which Twitch, is weird. So which is taking out moderating what? usernames, basically. Oh, but I mean. Why do you moderate those thirst traps <laughs> streams, Dude, bro? Like, it's because they're bringing in money. Yeah, it's because it's bruh. money. It's... But y'all act like y'all care about the policy. Like, is it... I mean, I could see some, you know... I mean, why is that not a thing already? Like, of course, you can't say the hard R, Johnny. Pick a different username, Johnny. I'm like, <laughs> of course... I mean, I, think, I feel like they should have been doing that already, but why is that now like a... That's a great. I I don't uh, get that. That's a great question. I don't know. But I'm not surprised. It's fucking Twitch. No. Peace, niggas. Yep. <laughs> Bullshit. Yeah. Fucking um, grime lords. Hate those yeah. guys. Yep. But um, yeah, that's that. Next, we have Terraria Two. Is apparently oh, teased. God. Yep. I'm pretty developer. sure it's the same as what Nick was saying with that Elder Scrolls thing. Yeah. Where it's like, it's coming eventually. Do we know when? No. But out of all these games that folks is talking about, bruh, I'm actually low key, like, bruh. I actually like Elder Scrolls, like, no, nah, it was gross. Uh, it's Raria. Bro, we played that earlier last year. That hit, bruh. Dude, that for hit. some reason, I cannot play my Terraria ever again. <laughs> really dude i don't know what's wrong it's just like i get the same error code every single time i have deleted the game i have reinstalled it i have repaired the game i have deleted it repaired it then reinstalled it i've looked online like have you nothing. tried doing it in a administrator mode i don't even know how to do that 
because I'm the fucking admin on my you computer. Just, so right, I'm like, you just right click on the thing and hit run as administrator. Yeah, I don't know why it's doing that if you're playing it through Steam anyway, and uh, that's. I think it's because of what is it? Oh man. That might be a hard drive issue. I don't know. I See, mean, but then it's like you delete it. Yeah. So I'm like, bruh, when I right click Terraria, the icon, run as administrator isn't even an option. It's just oh, open. Really? Yeah. You'll probably like, have to do it in the properties, but even still, I'm still wondering why like that's happening through your Steam app. Like, because I'm I'm assuming you don't hit the desk icon. You just you know, no, nah, I just go the, through Steam. Yeah, the Steam. So why is it? The fuck is going on? What's the what's the error code? Oh yeah, that's a good question. What's the what? The error. The error code is like extensive as balls, but it's like something about like some Boolean, whatever. Like it says Boolean expressions. Not, okay, it says Microsoft.nxa framework content, all that other stuff. Load error, and then <clears throat> Microsoft. It says like at Terraria.main.load content. Maybe um, Boolean use blocking run. Boolean mono ARGS. It's like args, I guess. It's it's a fat freaking window, but it's like it doesn't tell you system IO file not found exception failed to load. Please verify that you have the NXA framework installed. No clue what the fuck that means. Hmm, that's something you can like search up the actual like the error code and then like uh That's what I tried. Oh, you tried that. <laughs> have you tried updating your uh, .net framework? Your what? Hold on, I'm, I'm gonna send you the link, but it's like this. Uh, it's used in Windows, and sometimes you know, like uh, which I'm gonna call it. They'll be have like certain uh, applications that you need to update in order to play a certain game and stuff. I think oh, I'll check it out. I think it's but because I had a problem. <clears throat> I think it's because when I downloaded modded Terraria. Oh, really? But now, like, it, I don't know, because I can't run either of them. <laughs> That's interesting. But, yeah, that was just me. But Terraria, too. <clears throat> yeah, um, can't wait to see what they're going to do with that. Um, yeah, uh, next... Apparently, uh, YouTube live describability is I now saw that. here I saw on the that. YouTube app. On, on so. YouTube mobile, there's actually a, uh, it, it basically shows current streams. Mm -hmm. uh, and they'll have like, they'll, it'll be basically the person's profile picture. It'll have like a red circle around it. And uh, mm. you can, you know, view who's live through that. It's pretty. It's pretty interesting. Yeah, looks like how Twitch do does their uh, live thing. Like when you know you have the circle and yeah. stuff. So I'm actually wondering if this is actually going to make an improvement. Are people actually going to be? I don't know, because I don't even know how the algorithm for like live YouTube channels work. I don't either. I feel like that's a whole another you know ballpark. That's something I'm going to research, because if I'm doing multi-streaming and I can't at least get one person, or or maybe there is a way to get people, to, at least on my radar, um, then maybe I can figure that out. But yeah, till then, I don't know. But hopefully that works out. Yeah. Because, yeah, I'm tired of multi-streaming, bro. I want I want to actually get this shit going, bro. Um, but yeah, uh... That's that. And lastly, for news for me, um, Donald Glover says Atlanta will end after season four. And season three is coming out this March. Sick. 
and he's pretty much saying death is natural. Um, I feel like there's certain things that just don't need any longevity. And, you know, if that happens, things start to get weird. So he's pretty much saying, you know, like all good things, you know, he's trying to get, he's trying to basically say it's got to end while it's still good or else it'll end up turning bad. I get it. Yeah. Kind of like how, you know, uh, three stacks, he said, nah, I'm, I'm good. I'm good with these albums. Yeah, exactly. So I respect it um, because originally that he was supposed to release season three and season four before the pandemic in 2020, but that didn't happen. So I'm assuming he's probably going to release season four, maybe 2023, and then that'll probably be it. But um, no, I can't actually I'm telling you, I can't wait until March rolls through. I want to see what he's been doing, um, especially where the settings at with the season three. Um. Yeah, and just hype, just hype. See what they're gonna do with that. But other than that, that's pretty much it for news. If we have any other news, y'all can inform the people. If not, we can segue into something else. Uh, Actually, what's the time? It's like it's an hour sixteen. We're chilling. Okay. 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 Um, so we good on news? I'm good on news, PJ. I'm good on news. All right. I did have a question for y'all. Go though. for it. What do y'all think about Witch Queen? About Witch Queen? Yeah. Uh, when Did I come out? Uh, I'll tell you what so, I think wait, what? is that it didn't come out yet. Um, no, no, it's the 22nd. What I think is that I am... I I have been so done with Bungie that I haven't even kept up with it. Yeah. I'm not hype. I'm not going to lie. I'm interested in the lore and like you know, but I'm not I have not been keeping up with Bungie either. You know, it's just like the fact, the all the events that led up to what Bungie's been doing. Because I don't, even if they're trying to push out content, do microtransactions and stuff like that, it's just to a point where they're doing it. Like at this point, they're not even really caring about. I'm not, I'm, well, I don't know how Witch Queen's gonna be, but I could tell that they're gonna be like sacrificing quality somehow if it's like. Let's just push out so much content. Let's put paywalls. Let's do this. Let's do that. Let's make the viewer like go through all of these barriers just to play the game and then wind up the game is not even as good as they're making it to be or it's not enough. I don't know. I just, I don't know. I guess I'm not interested no more. I can see that. I can understand that. How do you feel about it? I'm not fucking getting it either. <laughs> I just want to. <laughs> no. was like, I just want no. to see what we all. I wanted page. to. Yeah, I wanted to see what. Well, I just want to see where you guys were at because I'm like, I just kind of, I just don't care. Like, I just don't care anymore. Like, it's not something that I'm like, yo, this might. It's like, lore wise, I'm interested to see how this plays out. I guess. But it ain't, it just ain't the same as like that nigga Oryx showing up to my system. Mm. Like, and being like, oh, uh, so you killed my son the other day. Yeah. And I can't just let you do that shit like without coming out here. So now I gotta kill you. <laughs> Her, yeah. it's like, I get what they're trying to do. And it's like, oh, but like she's been behind the scenes for this long. And then like now she's doing all this other stuff and like all her shit is coming to fruition, I guess. And mm-hmm. like she stole the light. And so she's like a guardian now and she can use a Nova bomb. Like, yeah, she's like she stole the light. Uh, because like, you know, Hive and all that stuff like they've always used the darkness. Mm-hmm. So. But she doesn't want to die. She wanted to become a guardian without losing her memories, which I think she succeeded somehow. She has ghosts and junk like that to where the hive can use the light too. Um, which is like that's an interesting concept, you know. But 
with all the sh that Bungie has been doing, bro, like, it's like slapping, like, it's like slapping gold plating on a shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? And then being like, and and not like not like solid gold either, like just plating to where it's like, yeah, we <laughs> like we know this is still like a duke underneath this thing. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, like exactly. that shiny gold plating is nice, but are we just gonna ignore all this that Bungie's been doing for the past like two, three years? Nah, not anymore, <laughs> bro. I'm but I, I just wanted to know. I'm trying to think how many like OG <laughs> Destiny players are left playing. I think game. there's still some people playing. I think it's like okay, and I don't know for sure, right? But I have this feeling that, and I used to think about this sometimes, where it's like just because I leave doesn't mean that other people left. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. So I'm like, maybe this is just like a me walking away, and other people are still just like. Nah, man, you're tripping. Like, this is it. Like, this is the truth. And I'm just over here, like, yeah, well, this truth is hot garbage. I'll tell you that right now. Like, this junk. Yeah, Stop. exactly. This, this is not it, Chief. Like, no, no, sir. Yeah. I knew it was serious when uh, Majin Taj started pl stopped playing Destiny. I was like, damn. Got my boy off that. That's crazy. Yeah. Ah, uh, man, end of the era, huh? Gee, because I don't know. Do you think, are y'all... Okay, so if they were to, like, stop doing the BS they're doing now, would y'all still, like, would y'all come back to Destiny? Uh, It depends on what they fix. Like, okay, I'll say this. The funny part is, the nail in the coffin that I did not mess with, uh, like, Bungie right now, Mm. Was whenever they removed shoulder charge. Ironically. Mm -hmm. When they made mm -hmm. shoulder charge not a one shot, it was like the nail in the coffin. Yeah. Dang. Because to me, right? That means that you did know mm, for yeah. that long. Yeah, you yeah. like you knew that the shit was for your solution was <laughs> for that in long. Order, in, in, instead of bringing everybody to that level. You just took it away. Mm. Well, the, like that, and it's like, okay, well, now everyone's on the equal playing field. And it's like, okay, but like, of, uh, why did you do that right now? Yeah, like, it's like, like that's been in the game since D1's inception. You waited, you knew it was like that. You knew it was busted for these niggas. You knew they had all this, sh and you waited this long. This is year two. Of like or like year three, I don't even know what year we're in. It's like, dog, you have had seasons of this, and you ended it now. Like yeah, now, you're bro. like it's a problem. Which I'm like, bro, if you knew it was like that from jump, that just proves like you don't listen. Yeah, you don't listen. And it's at it's all. like it's again that argument when it comes to balancing games, like the argument of nerfing versus uh, upscaling. And it's like, mm -hmm. y'all could have just put everybody on that playing field, but no, nobody's allowed to have fun. Well, it's like, it's like okay, in order to put someone on that playing field, right? Because mm -hmm. I understand where some people are like, you can't just buff everything. And I'm like, that's not what I'm talking about. Like, y'all niggas think that I mean, like, buffing everything. What I mean is the fact that you can one-shot with a shoulder charge with no, like, mechanical skill. Yeah. And by mechanical skill, I mean, like, you don't have to really input or focus on doing it you just do it mm -hmm. it's like a melee if you just press e or whatever your melee button is and you punch it's about yeah, that even, easy you just gotta be near someone or running or like punches like those were ranged like you had to look at somebody and be like okay i'm aiming for that person well except whenever they started adding tracking but you know uh, still at least that thing it's like it wasn't fucking ridiculous it was a shot yeah you had a shot Shoulder charge is like 90% of the time this shit is going to hit. And if, if it doesn't, I, there's one of two instances. Either this person is actually fucking cold or it was one of them bungee mess ups. Like, either you're fighting a goat and they know how to fight this thing or it's a bungee mess up. But nine times out of ten, this bitch is going to hit. 
like yeah. on equal playing field to me is like stop having it to where hunters have to do like hoops and shit like that just to hit a fucking throwing knife where it's like the weighted knife or whatever mm-hmm. weighted knife you have to hit a headshot to get it back and hitting a headshot with weighted knife is freaking hard like they're like oh well it'll curve toward their head i'm like barely as somebody if any as somebody who sniped in that religiously for used freaking, and used like weighted knife, knife. Like, it is not easy well, to hit weighted knife. My thing is, uh, as as somebody who has only used precision-based weapons in Destiny, basically, for the entirety of, since one, head hitboxes are kind of fucked, as well. I don't really head think that the hitboxes were the problem. No, but I'm just like, saying, like, head hitboxes kind of suck. Nah, because you do have to aim, like, up, like... For a game with hit scan, why do I have to aim above yeah. their head like there's bullet drop? Like that doesn't make any sense. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that one just kind of makes sense, but nah, like they were starting to do stuff to where it's like, depending on what you change, I might be back. But at the same time, it's Y'all like it kind of lost its yeah, yeah, like it kind of lost its like edge to it. Like oh, <gasps> uh huh. Did I fix it? I fixed it! Okay. Yes! I didn't fix it. That's a lie. I apologize. <clears throat> but the boy can play Terraria. Yes, sir. Oh, so you already know I'm going to be playing this bit. But, like, depending on what they do, maybe it's just like. Y'all have kind of proven that, like, when it matters, you don't care. You know? So it's like, okay, the odds of me like going back and being like, oh, bro, like, let me, let me actually play. Like, let me see. And you listening is going to be low. Like, when they have a problem in the community, their first thing to do is like uh, nerf whatever. They just, yeah. they just dropped art for, and I'll, I'll, I'll get into this after you're done. Mm-hmm. But they I'm about to did stop. just they did just drop this for the new Dragon Ball movie. Mm. So yeah, you can go ahead and continue. I just don't want that movie to be freaking high garbage. Is that supposed to be? Is that Goten? That's Goten and Chunks. Nice. Oh, that's gonna be like, finally, this yeah. nigga's not a freaking child. My lord. Yeah. It is about dang time. These niggas have been the, 10 for freaking 20 Android years. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're right. We got the, uh, the, the villains looking like Ultraman. Is, oh, are those the villains? The Great Saiyan Man guys? I think so. Huh. They're like Ultraman. We got, for some reason, we have... I, I'll never understand why it's just it's a dog Gohan now. So Ultimate Gohan that was kind of like a that was like the thing, but you know whatever, no big deal, I guess. Nah, I actually don't like Ultimate Gohan. I like this one better. I agree, but it's just the whole point of Ultimate Gohan was like that's it, you know. And yeah. So it's just like the fact that they went back is kind of weird to me. I think it's because they're trying to fix it. Yeah. But at the same time, it's like. You can't, bro. This nigga already has a college degree. Like, it's over. It's, he's done. It's over, bro. He got the degree. He got the t-shirt. He went to the university, bro. Like, he's got the knowledge. It's over. Dude you is can't... a poindexter now. Yeah, he's a poindexter, bro. You can't you fix can't... it. He's done. Like, Damn. He, is, he's, he turned into... You turned my man's into Clark Kent, bro. Like, he's not coming back from that. No Superman. No Superman. Just Clark. Just Clark. And that's tragic, but I don't know. It, they would have to change their business practices in order for me to come back to Destiny. They would have to change their business practices, I'd, like for real. Honestly, I'd want to hear news about them changing like staff for me to come back. No, but business practices that like, like staff and business practices. I feel like those come like no. It have to be like Bungie is under new leadership, like. Yada like, yada. It have to be like a something. either. You remember whenever Domino's used to suck hot like trash, yeah. and then they came back with that garlic crust. Yeah. 
<laughs> it have to be like that. It had to be like uh, everyone in the world knew Domino's was hot garbage, yeah. and then Domino's was like, "Bro, we're gonna make y'all niggas actually rethink." Garlic our crusted a trash. lot for the streets, like he. Mm. Oh yeah, because Dom Good loves dude, the garlic crust. Seven ninety nine. I was oh, yeah. like, uh, you know what? I'll let me get a pizza, bro. Like, let me let me see what it is. Unless it's something like that, bro. Like, nah, because I can tell it's like. You could just tell that their business practices are shady. They don't tell you stuff. They keep certain things in the loop for too damn long. Uh, which is like, they'll sit there and say like, oh, we know about this issue. But it's like, you don't do anything about it because you want to see how... I think what it is, is me personally, they watch numbers. Yeah. Mm. I, think that's, I think that's what they do as a business practice. I think they just watch numbers. When people start leaving, then they change it. Mm -hmm. And if they're not leaving, they don't change it. Instead yeah. of like, it's not like preventative maintenance, like maintaining the game. It is like just multiple overhauls because you don't know how to maintain. Right? So it's like, game just takes like a drastic direction every fucking update. Instead of like, leaning into a specific direction they just like hard left hard right all the time mm -hmm. which is why it feels unstable you know what i mean yeah but yep speaking That's of things that are unstable i recently listened to the volcanoes the new Bradio EP. Mm, okay, okay. And you already know I guess the fuck out of some radio. And man. Mm. Six tracks. It was like twenty three minute long EP. Something like that. Mm. So fucking good, G. So fucking good. Okay. I only heard one of the singles, and it was the one they dropped on New Year's. Uh, but mm -hmm. like they, uh, they they've been dropping singles for it for a little while. Uh, and man, let me man. You know, like you know, in uh, King Kunta when he's like, uh, by the time you hear the next shot, the funk shall be within you. Yep. That's that's the new Brady OEP. Dang. <laughs> he had a... That's the whole EP? <laughs> yeah. That's kind of crazy. Bro, you had to find a good analogy for that. Like, bro. Because everyone, as soon as he was like, by the time the next shot happens, the fun will be in you. As soon as you heard that, boom, you, everyone was like, yep, it's there. Mm -hmm. mm. Like, if the whole EP is like that, bro, that's kind of insane. It's, it's good. Uh -huh. It's good. That's good to hear. It was it was real fucking good. Ow. What'd you say is your uh, favorite track on it? Uh, it's a toss up. If you have one, I like the. Uh... Let me look at the track list just so I I don't just so I don't cringe it up real quick. So. I really like. It's that's a really hard question to ask. Uh, wow. Um, probably. I do really like the song they dropped on New Year's, but I don't think that's it. Um, the first track is is called "The Volcanoes," which is what the the EP is. It's the name of the EP. It's self-titled. Uh, I really like that one. It's the, the EP starts really fucking strong. I like that one. I like Frisbee and I like yours a lot. Those three are really good. Okay. Mm, which one's my favorite? That's how I'd call. I'd have to listen more to tell you. Because I only listened to it like once or twice. Mm. But, uh, 
It's a toss up between those three. The volcanoes, frisbee, and yours. Those three are something else. I know what's on your uh, end of the year list. Uh, it's possible. It's very possible. It was uh, joyful style was on my end of the year last last year. So and that was the the album they dropped mm. last year. So I. I Okay. Wouldn't be surprised if they end up there. Um, so far, I've only listened to four projects this year, but they're all shaping up to be um, favorites. Granted, one of them was released last year. I just never got around to listening to it until this year. Mm-hmm. Uh, and that was because it was fucking... Sometimes I might be introvert, which is... If I had listened to that in 21, that would have been my 21 album of the year. Yeah, that yeah. album is so unrealistically good. Yeah, shit's crazy. Uh, but yeah, the, no I listened to what else have I listened to this year? Listen to "Shut Up, Get Happy," and then I listened to "Sick," and like all f- all three of those are like like the radio "Shut Up, Get Happy" and "Sick" are all like fucking they're. Already, I can already tell they're contending for end of the year list. Mm. Yeah. Speaking of music, okay. Speaking of music, I did see a mm. question somebody asked on Twitter that definitely mm. gained some traction because of the nature of the question. Mm. PJ is not gonna like this question. Oh, <laughs> oh Jesus! What happened? Mm-hmm. Money choose a pound cake. You said what? <laughs> No, I didn't. Money I trees said, or pound cake? Money trees or pound cake? Uh-huh. Give me a second. He said, give me a second. <laughs> I must think. <laughs> he, said, he said, I have a mission. <laughs> <clears throat> First, I'm going to segue into something else. Okay. Then I'm going to come back. Okay. The drums on Money Trees are mono. That's why I use mono drums. Okay. Also. <laughs> uh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, yeah. <laughs> pound cake. Pound cake. Pound cake. That's your choice. Pound cake, for one reason only. Is it the beat? It is the beat. It's the beat. Yeah. Okay. It is the beat. Hey, uh, I'm not gonna hold the you. The verses. You said- the verses on pound cake are okay at best. We all know what I'm there for when I'm listening to yeah, if you, Except for the second half. If the second half said, of Pound Cake is better than the first, in my opinion, but the first beat is fire. If you said Pound Cake for any reason that wasn't the beat, I might no, have had an issue. You're capping. Money Trees has a better vibe and better lyrics. Yeah. But Pound Cake's vibe, like... I don't know, Chief. Something about Pound Cake is just like some different. But it's the same thing with Money Trees. That question was kind of, you kind of stumped me there. I'm not going to hold you. Like that kind of I got another one. Do I want to? Hold up. Seriously? Money Trees is bigger than freaking Mad City? That's kind of funny. Uh, sure. Let's let's go ahead and shoot the the horse, I guess. Okay. Wait, what? I don't know what that, know what that reference was. Don't even, just don't even call back to it. <laughs> no! Hold on! How many times have you shot a horse before? Dude, I have never done that reference or that saying in my life. I was trying to say Pretty much, I was trying not to cuss, so I didn't want to say shoot the sh. And then I was like, you know, just derail it somewhere, and my brain just was like, horse. <laughs> I was like, fuck. 
Because <laughs> I was like, I'm trying to find alternatives for cursing. Yeah. So I was like, okay, you know, shoot this shit. And I was like, oh, crap. Okay, we can't say that. So I need to need to push it somewhere else. And I don't know why. My brain was just like, force. <laughs> and I was like, uh, that's inhumane. And I don't know about that one. This nigga shooting animals. I actually am not. My name means lover of horses, ironically. I... Uh- Josh, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not joking. <laughs> I'm not joking. Look it up. Look it up. No, I, 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 I don't think you're capping. I'm just saying, Josh definitely just heard you say you shoot some horses. <laughs> I shoot them. <laughs> <laughs> I almost, I almost shoot. You could totally just like cut this part out, but nah, we gonna be like, yeah, okay then. I got you. I will remember this next time that you are on Demon Time. I will be on your case, sir. <laughs> Me? Oh, yeah. No, that's okay. I'll remember How this. often am I on Demon Time? I'll remember this. It's okay. How often do I have situations? <laughs> Why are those the two pictures you see? Both of y'all niggas. Why are those the two pictures you sent? <laughs> now, nah, where's the one that we're? Where's the one that we need? The classic. The classic. Josh, send the classic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or if we switch it up and do this one, and then this one at the same time, he's just like, I'm gonna shoot anything. <laughs> shoot anything. He said, oh, I don't me. indiscriminate. <laughs> This I don't know who it is. Next motherfucker I see. For real, that man said this 12 gauge is. Bro, it does not discriminate. I'll be taking out everybody. Yo, how the (laughs) fuck (laughs) did you just send? Now you gotta put these. You don't realize that when you edit this video for YouTube, I gotta put put these these in. in. Okay, so for the, the, the people on audio right now. We didn't really need to elaborate on the last bit. We don't need to know. No, no, no. For the people on audio, I'm going to spare your ears and not disrespect them. Nick, remember what we were talking about yesterday? Remember what we were talking about yesterday? Why no. the fuck uh, did Thursday. Josh just did send just Fat like, Albert I Sora? I... <laughs> Bro. <laughs> He disrespected my eyes. I don't give Man. a fuck. <laughs> Audio listeners could have been spared from this bullshit, and you was just like, "Nah, everybody drowning. Everybody <laughs> drowning." <laughs> fuck it, there's the Titanic, bro. I don't care. Man, I'll be the one nigga in the lifeboat dropping off before the children is on that bit. Play with me, Josh. Sir. Josh, bro, bro. Court of the don't people, this- explain yourself. Don't this look like this thing is actually going to win any fight he <laughs> get into, bro? He look like he's about to body everybody. <laughs> bro, do you know what he looks like? Oh, my God. He looks like if Uncle Ruckus was in Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> <laughs> it's bro. like, bruh. Mm. Also... I mean, right. while we're here, I guess, like, are we going to act like Fat Albert was not racist as fuck? Like, see, I was thinking that. Versus, dude, I mean, Bro. do you think he could lose, though? <laughs> I mean, look, all I'm saying is this, bro. That's the kingdom key. Look, look, I'll say this, bro. Joel has a limited amount of them shots, bro. <laughs> that guy's eating all of them. If he bro. hits anywhere <laughs> other than this thing is dope. It is not gonna be well for Joel, bro. <laughs> this man has a lot unlimited of surface area to cover. He bro. has he has a lot of surface area, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Even the spread of that shotgun is not big enough to deal with the problem in front of him, bro. <laughs> oh man. That man has a unlimited amount of swings. And because he is big and most likely tired, bro. He's gonna put everything into that first one, bro. Do you think you could dodge it if this fat man is 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 if he is literally testing every single card with that one swing of the kingdom key? Do you think that nigga's about to lose, bro? 
Yeah. Also, that's just that's the kingdom key. Yeah. <laughs> Don't look. Bro, the fact that his shoes look like they're about to freaking the fact that Sora's shoes fit on him <laughs> <laughs> is the scary part. Like everybody knows, Sora has astronomically big shoes, bro. They, he looks like those are just his like kicks, bro. <laughs> like they're not even they fit on this man. That's those a problem. Shoes. Those are just those his are not shoes. Clown shoes. Those are just the J's, bro. Oh my goodness! What the fuck? Why? Why did I have to see this? My question is, why do you have this? Well, that is a great question, Josh. Why do you have Where this? Where did you get this from? Hey, this has man. to be from Twitter. Um, is it from Twitter? This feels like something Moon Monkey showed. Nah, it's just the internet, bruh. I don't know, bruh. I just randomly saw it. Because <laughs> I found the... <laughs> oh my god. I found the... The Joel thing, it's just like, why does he look like he has a different type of energy, bro? Like he's in a you... zombie apocalypse, bro. Bro, yeah, but it's like, just look at him holding the shotgun. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think. Okay, I'll say this. Who is it in the other picture? Is that, um, is that Arthur? My bad, someone interrupted me. My Who's bad. in the picture below Joel, not <laughs> that Albert no, Who's the OG picture of? Is that Arthur? Arthur? That's from Red Dead, correct? No, that's Joel too. That's also Joel. That's also Joel? Yeah. That's from uh, Last of Us 2. Oh, I haven't played 2. Yeah. That's crazy. That looked like from 1. Nah, he has longer hair and he's his uh beard's gray. So that's gotta be from two. Plus when the fuck Are you sure? In, when the fucking one is he chilling outside the house? When in one is he chilling, period. Exactly. And two, he's chilling in the house at the very beginning, he's chilling outside the house. Gotta be from two. Whoa. Okay, so I don't remember that from two. <laughs> so this thing got the picture you don't even know what's wrong? Bro, I just found I think, it online, bro. I think that Joel picture with him with the shotgun is just kind of like... It's really not even the shotgun that scares me. <laughs> it's, the, it's the look on his face, bro. Nah, it's none he of just, that, bro. He just... Something about that man. Something it's the long him. sleeve sweatshirt. <laughs> <clears throat> it's the long sleeve sweatshirt, bro. Yeah? This man is in the South, bro. <laughs> You know that because he's trying to get to D.C. Mm -hmm. Which means he has to be at least in Virginia. You mean tell me you outside in the southern heat in a gray long sleeve sweatshirt, bro? <laughs> uh, <laughs> that shotgun is just assurance that he's lost his mind. <laughs> <laughs> like, the sweatshirt says it all, bro. The look in his eyes in that sweatshirt is like, yeah, this man has nothing to lose. Like, <laughs> bro. What's that, what's that Corey Kenshin skit? Where he's like, you see this man coming for you. Look in his eyes. Look. look. He has nothing to lose. Yeah, nah. Bruh. That shit is, there's something wrong there. <laughs> he, said, he said, look at this man. <laughs> he said, I don't know why that energy is different. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he got the backpack on too. <laughs> <laughs> got my side trusty arm. Jan Sport. Got the Jan Sport, the trusty sidearm, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh, reliable. My Jan Sport book bag. You think he's talking about the gun, but he's talking about what you <laughs> eat, bro. <laughs> Man said, "Oh, reliable." You're like, okay. Okay, I guess he's talking about the shoddy. And then you see the sidearm on his hip. You're like, nah, it's got to be that 1911. But you don't know he got the red Jan Sport with an MP5 in it folded up, bro. An MP5? Folded up, bro. Uh, shit, we still on MP4. What you mean? How the fuck you got an MP5 player? I hate you. <laughs> I know. When you first said MP5, that's where my mind went, and then immediately after I said that, I go, "Fuck!" 
fuck, I gotta commit now. That was all right. So now you see about the fucking horse shit. I'm like, bro, it is literally just like my shit segwayed over there, and I'm just like, ah, ah, what the fuck is that? (laughs) And you just couldn't let it live. Yeah, that's true. Damn, that's true. Because I had to shoot it in GTA. You had to, you shoot horses in GTA. I had to shoot it in GTA. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even know what y'all talk about. We talk about the end of the episode. That's what we're talking about. Yeah, we, yeah, I mean, we but can. I'm not sure. Yeah, I don't know. We can. Do y'all want to end the episode? We are 150 in. Oh, we good. Right? I'm we cool good. with that. Yeah, I'm cool with that. All right. Well, that being the case, is there anything you guys would like to say to leave the people with to end it off? Did we get any? Um, comments. No, because remember we, the... we we we're lacking. We're lacking. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, well, yeah. y'all niggas will know what I need from you. God <laughs> damn! <laughs> this nigga smokes some cigars in Hollywood. <laughs> no, that's on that. <laughs> what you mean? You're talking to a real mob boss. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> Oh, it's crazy. That shit changed you, bro. I can't say it any other way. Because they don't know about the comments. So they don't he know said, what I was trying to ask said, them before. You'll know what I need. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking, uh... Going Bad by Drake and Meek Mill. <laughs> said bring the clip back empty. <laughs> Don't come back until it's done. Don't come back until he said, bro, next time I see this clip. Matter of fact, don't even bring back the, the fucking clip. I better clip. not see I just this want, fucking clip. I better not see the gun again. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You bring me this gun again, we're going to have a problem. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anything y'all want to y'all wanna say or leave the people with the end off the episode? Sport black business. What game do you think is like super, super overrated upon actually playing it later on? Hmm. I need some kind of comment, man. I need some. I'm trying to figure out who we dealing with here. Who's our who's our audience? I uh, you already know who we're dealing with, and I don't want to I don't want to know them. <laughs> I need a vial of the black light virus. You uh, need a what? <laughs> you need huh? You need a huh? Nah. You need the FBI <laughs> at your door, nigga. <laughs> you need to be locked the fuck up. I need the infinity gauntlet. Like, oh my god. Yeah, bro. for real. For what, bro? And I it better not be anything other than playing in the freaking garden in space. Uh <laughs> Alright. Hold well, that. I guess we'll get out for now. New episodes will be out, hopefully, by the time this is out. (laughs) Goodbye. Peace.